Okay, 8791 on the index. It's a day of uh, consolidation. We're clawing back into the, uh, trying to claw back into the green, rather, just about flat. BOB idea continues to weigh down very heavy on the index. There's other heavyweights like BHEL, SBI, ITC, Lupin, and ONGC, which aren't giving you a good show today. By the way, from the broader end of the market, the scene is fairly is much worse. Uh, the likes of SRF are in the red. PTC shaves off something like 6%. Unitech, Crompton Greaves wasn't a good show and the stock is suffering. You've got something like Educomp as well as Indian Bank, which are currently in the red. Not to mention a whole lot of PSU banks because that sector is the worst hit. In fact, let's get in Samit Chavan to track the technicals. And Samit, let's talk a little bit about the PSU banking index and some individual stocks from there because that's really where the pressure is fairly evident. What are your views? So yeah, as far as uh, PSU banking is concerned, uh, we have already seen a relentless uh, up move uh, from the lower levels of 20 and 20 and 15 Nifty PSU Bank index. From there, the stock, uh, the index jumped to around 3400, 3450. So since last 3-4 uh, days, uh, we have been witnessing some consolidation and today, uh, post the Bank of Baroda announcement, we saw a dip uh, in most of the PSU banking counters. So this is just a profit booking uh, which was quite evident. It was uh, uh, clearly on cards uh, after seeing such a sharp rally. Uh, so we would interpret this as a profit booking and any dip uh, probably in PSU banking index towards 3200, 3250 uh, would be a very good buying opportunity. Uh, in this uh, entire space, uh, Karnataka Bank has been our preferred pick since last uh, four to five days. However, in last three, four days, the stock has consolidated a bit in a narrow range. Uh, but 118, 117 seems to be a very strong support. So we would maintain our optimistic stance on Karnataka Bank. Uh, one can initiate long position at current level also and any dip would be a good buying opportunity. 112.5 seems to be a very strong support. So one can keep this, this as a very good stop loss. And on the higher side, we expect uh, Karnataka Bank to move towards 128, 129, which would be a near term target. Manas, hi afternoon. What are the stocks that you're working with and would like to recommend? Uh, see two stocks. First, first is Vedanta because most of the metal stocks are looking stronger today. Uh, we have witnessed some uh, correction in last four or five trading sessions in Vedanta, but today it bounced back sharply, broke the resistance of 254 with great volume. So I am expecting further up move in Vedanta. The stock can test 265. So here one can take a long call, keep the stop loss below 251. And second call is a buy call on Excite Industries, where stock rallied smartly from the level of 180 to 210. But for last four or five trading sessions, it was facing some resistance near to 210. Today it broke that resistance with great volume. So I am expecting a sharp up move now. Uh, Excite can test 220. So here one can take a long call, keep the stop loss uh, below 208. Okay, what about you, Samit? What's on the radar? We are uh, quite optimistic on the market. Thus, uh, we would like to stay on the positive side in most of the heavyweight uh, counters. Uh, first one would be from private banking, which is Axis Bank. Uh, clearly, this stock has formed a strong base around 440, 450. And since last uh, two weeks, uh, we have witnessed a decent rally. Uh, in the last three, four days, yes, the stock has managed to consolidate a bit. But 480 seems to be a very strong support. And going forward, we expect uh, the stock to move towards 532 and stop loss can be placed at 478. Uh, our other uh, recommendation would be on short side, that would be India Cement. Uh, we have already seen a relentless rally from lower levels of 105 in nearly one, one and a half months. The stock has managed to hit a new multi-year high. And since last uh, four to five days, it has been consolidating. Today, we are seeing a breakdown on uh, early chart. So that clearly indicates uh, at least for next three to four days, we would expect some profit booking in the stock. So we would recommend selling in uh, India Cement uh, for a target of 148, 150. Uh, stop loss can be fixed at 164.5. Mm. Okay, let's also bring on board then Mubina and talk about some of the buzzers in trade. Lots of earnings reactions as well coming in as the markets try to claw back to that 8800 mark. Mubina, what's in your list?
Well, the first one is Sue's Lawn. Really good numbers coming in from that one on a consolidated basis. Income from operations has jumped to a whopping 76%, coming in at 3,308 crore rupees. A bit as well strong, jumping um, almost uh, three times from 256 crore rupees to 716 crore rupees, which has led to a margin expansion of close to about 800 basis points at 21.7%. And turnaround quarter for the company, net profits coming in at 274 crore rupees versus a loss of 121 crore rupees in the corresponding quarter. So that's the reason why you're seeing Suzlon react the way it is. Oh yes indeed, 5.8% higher on the stock. Let's get in a quick chart check then. Uh, come in Samit as to how you are tracking this stock. Does it interest you? You were talking about Suzlon, right? Yes. Uh, see, uh, as far as Suzlan is concerned, in last uh, one, one and a half months, uh, we have seen uh, good volume picking up from lower levels. The stock has already given a decent rally from 13, 13 and a half. And today we have seen a uh, gap up opening. So that clearly indicates uh, 17 and a half, 18 was acting as a resistance and the stock has managed to give a breakout. So going forward, the stock can move towards 20, 20 and a half, probably uh, next three to four months uh, time, time period. Uh, however, we expect some consolidation happening wherein the range would be slightly broader now. 18.5, uh, 19 would be an immediate resistance wherein on the low side 17, 17.5 would act as a very strong support. Mm. Okay, that of course is Suzlon. The other stock uh, being, uh, well, SRF. Uh, Mubina, walk us through why this one's buzzing. Um, well, actually, this one, uh, on the flip side, has not delivered a very good set of numbers on a consolidated basis. SRF has declined. Um, while, of course, the numbers seem to be absolutely in line or actually a tad bit below expectations, the management commentary is something that has actually um, affected the stock a lot because the chemicals business has grown just by about 1%. And the segment EBIT margins, on the other hand, fell by a sharp 1,100 basis points on a year-on-year -year basis. And, in fact, the specialty chemicals margins, that dipped more than expected due to the high fixed cost crust structure. And the commentary of the global agro agrochemical company suggests that it will remain fairly weak for FY18 as well. When it comes to the rest of the segments, that's technical textiles and packaging films, while the performance has been healthy, it has not been enough to offset the anti-leveraging impact of chemicals. And analysts mostly are scaling back the margin expectations as well as the earnings estimates. And that's the reason why um, SRF is down in trade. Thanks very much, Mubina, for highlighting some of those movers and shakers in the session. In fact, let's get in a quick call as to what the chart uh, analysis is. Manas, come in on SRF. See, we have already witnessed smart rally in the SRF from the level of 1450 to 1715 last 5-6 uh, weeks. And uh, definitely, stock has broken um, and su uh, support of 1650, which is its 50-day uh, moving average today. Uh, with higher volume. So I think one should be very much cautious. Don't take any any long call here. Uh, if you're long, then keep a strict stop loss of 1540, which is a 200 day moving average. So uh, I think uh, if you want to take a long call, then just wait. Uh, uh, I think one should take a long call now only above 1700 mark. Okay, let's uh, take in some viewer queries then. And we've got an email coming in from N. Rajkumar from Hyderabad. He's bought about, you know, 120 shares of Delta Corp at the price level of 134. His time horizon is one year. He wants to know what he should be doing with this one. Now, Samit, what would you recommend him? See, during the early part of uh, Jan, we have already seen a good uh, bounce back from le lower levels of 9800. Uh, the stock has managed to give a decent rally towards 130. However, since last three weeks, uh, we have been witnessing some consolidation. Uh, so we would uh, wait for a breakout to happen if it's if the stock uh, moves beyond 132, 135 with higher volumes. Then we could see uh, extension of uh, you know higher degree uptrend. In that case, the stock can move towards 145, 150. However, at this juncture, we expect uh, this consolidation to continue. 119 seems to be a very strong support. So as of now, he can hold on by keeping a strict stop loss below 119 on a closing basis. And as I said, once the stock surpasses 132, 134, uh, he could see much, much higher levels from current level.
Okay, next up we have another query coming in, an email query sent in to us from Surya Mishra in Mumbai. The question comes in on REC. He's got close to 3,000 shares, 2,900 shares of the stock. He's purchased it at 146. It's a short-term time horizon of the next three months and he wants to know whether he should hold on or sell. Manas, let's get in your analysis. 144 is where the stock is currently at. Uh, see, in the month of December, stock took support near to 200 day moving average. And in the month of December and January, it rallied smartly from the level of 115 to 150. Yes, stock is facing some resistance for last three weeks uh, um, near to 150. But overall trend is quite positive. The medium term outlook is still positive. Stock is trading above 50 day moving average. Until it is trading above 50 day moving average, I think one can hold the, uh, hold the stock. Uh, now one can keep the stop loss below uh, 136 and um, uh, for, uh, for next one or two months time, you can set the target of 150. Okay, Samit Manas, both of you, thank you so much for taking the time out and speaking with us today and of course helping our viewers as well with their queries. In the meantime, JP Infra numbers, well, it seems like the top line at least has halved. There seems to be a hit on the beta as well and that I guess would be the case even with the bad performance. Uh, for the market though, we're trying to make an attempt to claw back to that 8800 mark, trying to nudge the green border as we speak. It's lifted off a wee bit from the lows of the day even for the broader markets, though still they're the ones underperforming. Quick break when we come back, some wealth creation strategies.